Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of expanded notation. This is standard 4.2b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 42 off of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have this really large number here, 140,578,000, and then there's nothing in that first period, and we need to figure that out in expanded form. So even though this is an expanded notation video, this is actually expanded form, which we first got introduced to way back in first and second grade here. So let's just take a look at this number in place value, and we'll write it both in expanded form and expanded notation. So we've got nine digits here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's put some commas in here. And we've got different periods. So this is our ones period. So that means it's our ones group. This is our thousands period, which means it's our thousands group. And this is our millions period which is our millions group. And the reason I write it like that is because it makes it really easy. Watch this. We would just write ones, tens, hundreds. We're going from right to left, right? So ones, tens, hundreds, one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So obviously there's that pattern. One millions, ten millions, hundred millions. So if we write our place value chart like this, it just saves us a lot of time. We see the pattern ones, tens, hundreds, and we just need to know the names of each period or group of three, the ones, then the thousands, then the millions. So let's write our number here. We've got 140,578,000, and then, yeah, we've just got zeros in that ones period. So how would we write that in both expanded form and expanded notation? Well, we always start with the largest one. So if we wanted to do expanded form, we're going to start right here, at our hundred millions location. So what we do is we think, what is the value of that digit? So that's one in the hundred millions. So that's 100 million. So how do we write 100 million? Well, the easiest thing to do is just to write that one that's right there. So I'll write this right here. And then you're gonna count how many spaces are after that. That's how many zeros are gonna come. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got eight zeros because there's eight spaces after it. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Obviously, that's a lot of zeros. That's why we put commas there to kind of break them up. So that's your 100,000. Now, if we wanted to write that in expanded notation, we would just write the digit one times, and then we would write the value, which happens to be 100,000. So I'm just going to write that 100,000. So either one of these, this is expanded form up top, expanded notation below, plus, now we go to our next one. We just work all the way down. We've got a four in the 10 millions spot right here. So four, 10 millions, 10, 20, 30, that's 40 million. So we're going to write 40 million. So that's a four with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice the number of zeros drops. So there's my 40 million. If I wanted to do it in expanded notation, I would write four times. That place value is 10 million, so I'm just going to write 10 million. That's one with seven zeros afterwards. So you see the slight difference here. The number of zeros stays the same in expanded form. We're going to just go ahead and do the multiplication because four times 10 million is 40 million. Expanded notation just kind of separates that out. So we have those two terms right there. We don't have anything in the in the millions, and so what we have here is we've got 500,000. So let's just write 500,000. That's going to be 5 times 100,000. So we skip that zero in the million spot. And then we've got 70,000. So 7 times 10,000. And then we've got that final one, 8,000. And I'm going to write that right over here, 8,000 or 8 times 1,000. So let's check our work here. We've got 100,000, 40 million, 5,000. So it looks like our answer is going to be here, G.